Welcome to Please Subscribe, a podcast about making videos from two different perspectives. I'm Johnny. I'm Andrew. Andrew, how are you doing today? <laughs> hey, man. I'd love to avoid that question every time. All right. Um, do, you, do I sound different, Andrew? Um, well, you sound there's like something, you might have hit pre- uh, what? There's something on me that... Oh, and that hair. it's going to change my I think it should change how I sound. I have uh, some hair right above my lips. Yeah, it's happening. So right now it's coming in. <laughs> um, if you guys are uh, just tuning in, which I don't know how you wouldn't be because this is the start of the podcast. So obviously you're just tuning in. I don't know why mm. I said that. I have a mustache. Um, and, and I think so it's you kept really it, huh? I kept it. It's still there. Every morning I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, this is, I, you are the worst is what I say to myself. And I'm like, why is that still there? You have a razor. You have a razor. Johnny. You can shave that immediately. And here I am letting the rest of my stubble grow in. So I can't even shave it now. It looks good. Bro. It looks so, what, what'd you just call me? (laughs) I said, I think I, I said, bro. Is that not. Um, AK or I don't. Uh, so I got a mustache and yeah, I think it's uh really changed just like how I wish I this podcast feel. was a uh, video so people could see you. I don't know. See, I, I just okay, I know this is an audio only uh podcast, Andrew, but I just thought it was important to mention because by the time this is released, I might not have the mustache anymore. So <gasps> I wanted, <laughs> so I wanted, well, I wanted people to know what it sounds like for reference just in case this never happens oh, again what the mustache sounds like right it's like it's like a i'm trying to 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 put this is like a time capsule a time okay capsule. Is, can i ask you a question andrew that, okay yeah, what's i up? know we're gonna get into all the segments i know you guys love our segments but um, oh yeah <laughs> i thought i thought i i had a question i know this isn't the q a section but i have a question for you andrew uh, wow all right go for it bro i, I know uh, this, is, this isn't in our doc but all right um Okay, so what if like, man, this is, it's like kind of hard to think about a phrase. You know what I mean? Right, um, right, right. right uh, of course, so, yeah. so what if we were in like a, I, I don't know, like a like a time loop? <laughs> right, right. Of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, like what if, dude? Right, right. Of course, uh, yeah. So Andrew, what if we were in a time loop? Right, right. Of course, yeah. Um. Time loop, bro. Uh, l- listen, what? what? Right, 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 of course, yeah. It's like, whoa, wait, the, dude, that What's is up? that. That's ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> right, of course, yeah. It's just it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why would we be in a a a, a time a time loop, <laughs> right? Of course, yeah. Like, but what if, like, what if? What here's, if, here's a question. Here's sure. A question. Yeah. No. No. Go ahead. Yeah. Like, what if we were in a time loop? What? Bro, that is insane. Right, of course, yeah. Yeah. What? Bro, that is insane. (laughs) What? Bro, that is insane. that was the episode all right of, uh, thank Please you guys subscribe. for listening um i hope you enjoy the rest Dude, of your at day. the end of this podcast when you're when you're editing it you should mm. uh like loop that like <laughs> loop it yeah you should know you should you should loop the whole podcast oh almost like a <laughs> so it would almost be like, like it would be like if the, if the audience was in like a time loop. yeah <laughs> it's interactive that's pretty cool yeah. Well, uh, hopefully everybody stopped listening because they were just. <laughs> so at this point, we're alone. Yeah, so we're alone. We can, we can just be comfortable with each other. Yeah, um, just goof off. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Um, cool. Well, Today we're gonna be uh, talking about collaboration. Uh, but before that, let's talk about some cool gear. Ooh, <laughs> Andrew, right. I want to go first because this is my podcast. <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. I was, yeah, I kind of wanted to go. For, All yeah, right, so uh, I want to talk about the Audio Technica AT2035 microphone. 
Um, uh, it's actually what you're hearing oh. right now. <sighs> so yeah, I'm recording on the Audio Technica AT2035. Um, I've got an audio interface and the whole XLR setup, so it's like hashtag legit makes me feel cool. It looks nice. Um, and you have like an ASMR button on it. I have an ASMR button. I'm going to press that right now. So this is me just talking ah! with the ASMR no! button on. Today I'm going to be crinkling some uh, ah! Stop! A paper. I have a paper plane here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we lost all of our listeners there. Again. <laughs> if we so, didn't lose so, them the right, first time, we, we just, lost them there. <laughs> just, that, that's our failsafe, just to make sure that everybody's just to gone. Make sure we get um, them all out of there. Yeah, I think it really added to you just like uh, to you just backing away in the corner in the background as yeah. I was doing mm. it. I think it really added to the experience. All right, bro. So yeah, this Michael set you back about one hundred um, and fifty dollars. This Michael. This Michael. This. Michael will cost you $150, which is pretty cheap for a person. So um, I would buy it, and I did. Well, Santa bought it. <laughs> Santa. Yeah. Does he buy it, or does he make some? Well, What I does mean, he do? I don't know. We'll get that in I, Well, okay. Okay, Andrew, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Sure. Well, I already did by saying that. Um, oh, that sorry. was your only one, too. The, uh, <laughs> All right, bro. So my so uh, the thing about my, Santa my, is that yeah. there's no way he can. He's old and fat, bro. He's gotta just. He has to have people that he like gives money to help make and uh do pre- like like the elves. Well, no, Michael specifically. Oh, Michael. He gives money to Michael. And Michael helps deliver the. Oh, so, like the so what is kinda, your piece right. of uh, gear um, that you'd like to shout out? Because I, I don't want to so give Santa. This, Santa's had his spotlight. He Christmas yeah. is over. Well, basically, I'll give you my piece of gear that I'm writing to Santa. You'll give it to me? I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm mm-hmm. going to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's something that I want. It's something right. that Santa's going to have to Can you write it to someone else? Because I don't want to give Santa another second on this podcast. I'll write it to Michael. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'll write right. it to Michael. <laughs> I'm going to ask Michael. Um, oh, yeah. I, ask Michael. Yeah, so so this is. And you said uh, you're gonna give it to gear. me, so I'll have it in the mail. Yeah, no, I got I got you. Okay, can you, can you write worry. just X two at the end of it when you write it to <laughs> Michael? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Um, Thanks, bro. So uh, it's it's the uh, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. basically, Black Magic came out with a pocket cinema camera a long time ago. Beautiful, wonderful camera. Right. I got it once, but I couldn't keep it because. I felt too limited to 1080p because that's ah. the highest it can shoot, it's the highest uh, resolution it can shoot, and like it's fine. But I wanted, right. I, I, I now at least I need so, more than 1080p just so that I can sure. crop if I need to, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Totally. So now they came out with the Black Magic Pocket Cinema mm-hmm. camera for freaking K, dude. For freaking um, K. That's freaking awesome. K. Yeah, it, it's 4FK. Now, Andrew, um, as someone out of the whole black magic loop um uh time loop um <clears throat> out of this whole, uh, whole black magic loop I, I i i don't know what so like there's the black magic pocket cinema camera there's mm-hmm. the isn't there like the micro cinema camera there's so many there's, black the, there's the the, the ursa fork mini. one the ursa mini like what fork what? 4k uh, there's, I, there's fork, the, oh, I don't know the fork, the fork. The, the, uh, there's the fork have, that the, the silver the black magic yeah. silverware that so right <laughs> wizards make float like i had dinner with a wizard uh about a yeah. week ago and nice. he made he made my fork float for like 20 minutes and i was like dude can i get to my salad and he's like isn't yeah. this amazing and i'm like you know what's amazing is how hungry i am sorry um <laughs> Dude, that's a skit. All right, so that's actually pretty the, good. Yeah, it is pretty good. Uh, so that's I have my next video. Ursa, Ursa Mini 4.6K. Right. So why um, would you go down to 4K? Basically, the Ursa Mini 4.6K is this big. I, right. <laughs> and then the, first, and the Ursa Mini, and then the 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 pocket cinema camera is this big. Mm. Um, uh, I guess I'll fine. Um, basically, Andrew, this is an audio the, the only pocket, podcast. The, they can't see your hands, dude. <laughs> The pocket cinema camera is about the size of a regular DSLR, like the GH4 or whatever. Um, Wait, the, the 4K Ursa, one or the... the? Yeah, the 4K one. Um, 
And the Ursa Mini 4.6K is more like a red, a little bit bigger than a red. Um, so it's very, very compact. Um, and that's what I like because I am a, I'm a gorilla, bro. <laughs> Wait. I'm a gorilla filmmaker. You're a gorilla? I'm a gorilla. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, God. No, no. Wait, is this the first podcast? With, I mean, I'm not. Is this the first podcast with a gorilla? Might be. <laughs> Dude, this so is the my first podcast. <laughs> my question is, why don't more people listen to it? I don't know. Why aren't there more people listening? It's the first. Dude, this, Wait, this, 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 so when you say it's a, going viral. when you say it's as big as a DSLR, do you mean seven inches by three point four inches by three point eight inches? Uh, yeah. Like so, you're saying like the the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K has an operating temperature of zero degrees Celsius to forty degrees Celsius, which is thirty two degrees Fahrenheit to one hundred and four degrees Fahrenheit. Is that what you mean? Yeah. So like you get like a twelve month limited manufacturer's warranty with. The purchase I of the camera? So. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so with this camera, are you saying that the software included is the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K operating system in the DaVinci Resolve Studio on the SD card and the Blackmagic Camera Setup? <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm closing the tab. I can't read any more stats. All right, sorry. <laughs> um, I, uh, I haven't so let you it, talk. Bro. I have that's not it. let you talk about this camera at all. Is there anything else you want to say? No, so that's it. It's something I want. It has. I'm pretty sure it has the same, mostly the same like uh, dynamic range mm -hmm. as the 4.6K. Is it the well, same not, sensor? Not quite. Uh, I think it's. That's a good question. Yeah, probably I could have done some uh, research. Probably could have done more <clears throat> research. Uh, right. You were on the page, so you should. Know. Uh, all right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I definitely, yeah, I'm definitely right. gonna pick up that cam, bro. Wow. Ah! You got to take all these bros out. Yeah. I'm gonna. I got a bro filter that'll get out of. All right. It'll take out of the bros. Thank so. you, thank you, thank you. It's a problem. So people will just hear. I just said I got a filter. It'll take out all the. Anyways, um. Yeah. See what I did there? I took out all the. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um. Well, now let's cut to the main topic of today's episode. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Dude, that transition was so terrible. It. Why would you say something like that, dude? No one wants to listen to that crap. That's why sorry, we don't have any I listeners. Just, it just came into my mind. I don't know. I figured... Uh, it's stupid. I'm sorry. It's stupid. Welcome back to Behind the Bit. Um, the joke is that that is my line. And so like I say that every week. And so when Andrew said it, I lashed out at him saying it was dumb, which means what I've been saying is dumb the whole time. And I think what I've been saying is dumb. So that's the joke. All right, cool. <laughs> so the main topic, uh, we're going to be talking about collaboration on YouTube. Um, big deal. It's a big deal. And, you know, people will say collaboration is the only way or the best way to grow your channel. Um, the only way. The only, well, that, I, that's it's not. the only way. It's the, people say it's like a really great way to grow your audience. Oh, it's a great way. Yeah. That's for um, sure. Because <laughs> you don't need quality content to. No, you no, you That's you not, do not. You do not. You don't. You don't. I mean, I know. I mean, look at New Kazuka's YouTube channel. Look at, go to Pyrobot and then let me know. Dude, they don't even have close to a million subscribers. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no, they don't. So, Andrew. What? Your name's Andrew, right? Anderson, but that was close. <laughs> All right, keep going. <laughs> your name's Anderson. You can call me Andrew, dude. What, what What do you want? My question is, why do you introduce yourself as An Andrew? We got to, we have to stay focused. Andrew. Anderson. For, yeah. Yes. Anderson Drew. That's perfect. And That's how perfect. Do, like, I can't think of how to combine Andrew and... It's kind of weird, right? All right, it's Anderson Drew. Um, what was <laughs> your... What? Nothing. Can you let me ask the question so we can get yeah, to the main go topic, for bro? It, yeah. we, you cut. You already cut, and we, you cut too late, too early. <laughs> you You need to cut later. Uh, Andrew, what was your first collaboration on YouTube? My first collaboration. Uh, Thomas Ridgewell. Tomska. Thomas Tomska Ridgewell. I'm sorry. Um, beautiful boy. Uh, Tomska on YouTube. Uh, oh. He made the ASDF movies. Oh, what a... Oh, that guy. What a guy. What a guy. Um, so I was, uh, I was sitting down one day, and then I heard a little bit of a, a ding, and I looked, and it was when uh, it was when YouTube messages like actually had a purpose. Okay. Um, 
and it was from Tomska. Mm-hmm. Um, and at that point, he was a big deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, not not that he's not a big deal anymore. I'm saying right, at yeah, that now point, he's not he was relevant. still a big deal. Nah, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, I'm kidding. I love you. Yeah, Tomska. no. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, I'm saying when I got that message, he was still as big of a deal as he is now. Right. So that was a huge deal for me having maybe a thousand subscribers. Right. Oh uh, wow! So, he so your channel me. was that small at that point. Yes, that's crazy. Um, and he messaged me. And he was like, I guess he he went uh, he went on a hunt. Okay. On on YouTube for gotcha. some smaller creators that can uh, that have talent. Yeah. Um, and then and so he, he found, made the mistake because you don't. Yeah. No. He <laughs> sorry. He definitely uh, I, regretted I it down the down the line. Um, but he messaged me. And he was basically like, "Hey, um, listen, if you can do some visual effects for me, then I can pay you in subscribers." Oh and wow! At that, and at, and at that uh, at that time, like interesting I was phrasing. Just like, yes, mm-hmm. I mean, I because I obviously I wasn't really going to expect getting paid real money at that time. I don't know. Like mm-hmm. it didn't it didn't occur to me that YouTube. I don't know. It didn't occur to me that you could really make a whole lot of money off YouTube. So I was like, you know what? Yeah. Um, I'll right. do that. And do you know and he how, gave how long? Subscribers. <laughs> how long had you been making videos at that point? Probably like maybe a year. Okay, so you um, were you were fresh into the game. Oh yeah, I was just like I was just I didn't know what I was doing. Right. So I, I I think I did the first uh, video of his, and he gave me like a uh, like a legit in card shout out. Like, oh, wow. hey, this guy did the VFX. Check out his videos. Did like a montage. Wow. Oh, dude, he gave me, you like, the montage. Yeah, you that's, awesome. Montage, bro. that's awesome. That get that that gave me like like probably like sixteen thousand subscribers. Wow, that's mm-hmm. awesome. So you went from okay, wait, you went from one thousand subscribers to seventeen thousand, roughly. I don't know if those are co- correct. Like it, right. that's what it, that's what I remember. It was somewhere. It was in the. I know it was like single dishes thousands, and then like he jumped. He brought me up to about you know fifteen to twenty thousand. Right. So that really jump started on my start. Right. Um, and um, I'm curious, did, so that like montage you put in the end card, did that feature the video My Guns Canon T2i slash 550D? Uh, I'm sure a lot of people went to that, uh, that the, my channel and then saw My Guns Canon T2i uh, 550D. Um, <laughs> that's 221,000 people. For those that, yeah. um, that, you don't, that don't know, that was my first video. <laughs> I actually know it wasn't. It's the first I have public. Plenty of, yeah, video first public on video. the Nukazuka channel. My first video on Nukazuka was a test of a nuke. And Zuka? I basically took a stock photo and cheated. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so <laughs> that's um, awesome. Tomska was my first collab. And honestly, I haven't had a collab like that since then. Oh, okay. Like I've had different types of collabs, but that was really the collab. That was the me. collab. Okay. Awesome. Yes. And do you remember when that was, roughly? Um, 2014, maybe? Okay. All right. That's maybe. awesome. I don't know. That's really cool. What about you? Hmm? Um, my first collaboration was, um, was with Ren Weichman, actually. Wow. So I, it, was, it was 2013, mm-hmm. and uh, I was thinking, man, I am in eighth grade. Uh, and then, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that a lot during that year. Yeah, yeah, um, man. <laughs> or, well, I guess from like January to May of that year, I thought that all the time. Yeah. It's like, wow, I am in eighth grade right now. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> right now I'm in eighth yeah, grade. Yeah, like, I, I mean, every, every other day I'm like, wow, I am in depression, like in, in my mind today. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Like, you know, just. So I'm sitting there saying to myself, I'm in eighth grade. I'm making YouTube videos. My name's Johnny Bosworth. All, all, everything I knew that was mm-hmm. true, right? And so I thought, oh, man, what if I made an award show um, mm. that, like, parodied other award shows, you know, like the uh, Academy Awards or the Golden Globes? Mm. Um, those are two award shows. So, <laughs> so, so I was like, yeah, I, I want to do that. And so I decided to sort of host it and win all of the awards, which is just like a uh, huge, just like patting myself on the back for like five minutes. Um, what's that award show? I've never seen it. It's called the Johnny Boz Awards. Oh, yeah, I've never seen it. Um, That's kind of weird because cool, you 
That's very you cool. won an, you sent me a video clip of you accepting an, a Johnny Boz Award, Andrew. I, oh, yeah? I mailed you a Johnny Boz Award, and then you tweeted me a picture of it, dude. Was that my brother, Andrew? <laughs> wait, wait. Is, Seth? No, I'm, my name's Anderson. Oh. And... Ah, it's twin stuff. All right, just keep going. So, um, so I was like, oh, yeah, I want to do the Johnny Boz Awards, and I want to have a guest winner, you know, because that just seemed cool at the time. And um, so I tweeted Ren, and I was like, hey, dude, do you want to win an award as part of my YouTube award show? And he's like, what is that? What are you talking about? Because I hadn't made one before, so I was like, mm-hmm. that's uh, – and actually, yeah. he was – You didn't was, have the you didn't have the gold <laughs> status you have now. Right. Honestly, he was actually down immediately. He, d- he didn't even really ask that kind of stuff. He was like, yeah, sure. Wow. So – because, you know, Ren's the of best. Of course he did. Ren, 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 I, th- I still I'm think Ren, emotional. Ren's just the best. He's just the best. Ren, if you're listening, right. we love you. So so he sent in uh, his acceptance speech. It was perfect. We put it in. We as in as if like I have a production company. I put the clip into it. So, so that, was my first, that, was, that was my first collab. And the Johnny Boz Awards uh, in 2013 is the only Johnny Boz Awards video to have the guest winner in the title. So it's like it's the Johnny Boz Awards with Ren the Reaper. Um, so ah, Ren the Reaper, Ren the Reaper before wow. he before he did the the surrender rebrand. Surrender, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Is it surrender like surrender? Like surrender. Like surrender to or me. It, I like think it's surrender. Both. Oh no. I'll surrender to you, Ren. I, yeah, I'd, I'd totally surrender. So, Ren, if would. you're going to take over the world, I'm all for it. Um, yes, I'm totally down. Awesome. <laughs> so, that was my first collab. Yeah, that was it. Dude, that's a, that's a good one. That's a, Ren's, a, Ren's a good, he's a good choice. He's a great choice. Did that, uh, did that do anything for you as far as, like, if, if we're, like, comparing the two, like, you know, I got subscribers out of Tom's school. What would that do for you? Nothing. Nothing. No. Uh, okay. So, something that I've been really interested in is, um, so yeah, that is it's currently at two hundred and sixty-seven views. So like, it didn't do bad. But Wait, like the first Johnny yeah, Buzz Awards yep. got that. Uh. Yeah. So two hundred and sixty-seven views. It's like there's a huge disparity between years. It's crazy. Um, but it, it's oh. really interesting how uh different people in like collaborating in your videos affects the views or mm-hmm. doesn't affect them it's it's actually been like really kind of interesting to see um so like yeah having ren in that video while i'm yeah. sure he like promoted it when it came out it's like that having a name in your video doesn't always mean mm-hmm. people are gonna see it it's just like it's just not a guarantee um yeah like in 2015, I had Jimmy Wong, Sam and Nico from Corridor, and Kevin Sanzaki uh, all win a Johnny Boz Award, and that got like 1.4 thousand views. So that's pretty yeah. good. But when you, mm-hmm. if you look at like you know Corridor at the time probably had like 1.5 or 2 million subscribers, that alone is a huge disparity between their audience and the amount of views that the video got. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm not saying I expected more, but it's just it's interesting to see that like. Names don't. What Johnny Buzz Award? What, what, which one got the most views? I think it. Yeah, it is the the 2015 ones that has 1.4 thousand. Yeah. I could have sworn. Because hmm. the 2017 ones that you were in that has yeah. 1.3 thousand, mm. which is pretty good. But I guess you just weren't sort of big enough of a YouTuber I just wasn't big to bring in that extra uh, I'm sorry. views. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I mean it's. It, I surrender. Listen. I surrender. It's a mistake that I won't make again. So no hard feelings. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> geez, yeah. I am yeah, so you, mean to you I'm on this you podcast. Learn from your I'm mistake. so mean, and it just hurts. It hurts. It's all right. I, I mean, I, I'm I'm not Andrew, so it's fine. Um, all <laughs> right. Yeah, Andrew. So your, your brother is uh, something. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Sure is. Um, yeah, the Johnny Boz Awards. It's mm-hmm. been, it's it's been like my main way of collaborating. Yeah. Um, for sure, like. It's definitely my, it's my favorite project of the year, and mm-hmm. like it's just been crazy. I am still shocked at the guest winners that I've been able to have. Like, yep. I'm not I'm not bragging. I'm I'm just like honestly. Are you not, are you not bragging? <laughs> no, no. Not? I'm really I am really like um <sighs> just really surprised at at the people that were totally willing to like contribute to to some of my videos. 
Yeah, because um, with the Johnny Boz Award, the the good the good thing about like the collaborative part of that is that it's a very easy collaboration. Right. Like all they right. got to do is film themselves for a minute yeah. max. Right. And that's it. Yeah. You know, it's like 30 seconds to a minute on your phone. Just send it over to me. Yeah. And, and that's it. It's, it's like a pretty easy way to like, it's not like, hey, could you like get together with me, film a video for like six hours and then like, you, you know, it's. It's uh, like it's a uh, my corridor club, yeah. right? Right. That was uh, that's very similar because that was a very hefty one, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that was a hefty one. That was not a Johnny Boz Awards mm-hmm. club, right? Um, right. But it was a fun one. Mm-hmm. It was fun. Yeah, and that I enjoyed it. That's Wizard Cops, right? That's Wizard Cops. That's a fantastic I, I video. That's a great video. Wizard Cops. Mm-hmm. I was. Uh, hmm, what was I? I was. It was your right first time. Man. First time holding a red, right? Yes, uh, so I, I walked up to Corridor Studio, and Nico just came out. And he's like, "Here you go, toss me a red camera," <laughs> and I was like, "Dude!" So what never was, do that. Was that like, the most I amount can... of money that you've ever had? Yes, in hand? <laughs> yes. Like, dude, I've never held this much, like right. th- this much, this much of a valuable piece of equipment in my life. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, yeah, here you go, here you go. Just like kind of like, and I was just watching him just kind of like toss it around and stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. But did it was, you, it was fun you, at the same time. Did you say anything at the time or were you just like, all right, man? No, I totally put on a face. Yeah, right. I was like, oh, yeah, dude, let's do this thing. But like right. deep down, I was just like, oh, man, I'm, just, I'm so scared. Dude, I would be but it was a, It was fun, though. I, uh, yeah. All the actors and the people, uh, including me, uh, mm-hmm. did a great job. Um, yeah, Tanner Thompson remember, was in that one, right? Yes, awesome guy. Great, great um, guy. Yeah, that was shout uh, out that, to Tanner but, Thompson. Yeah, no, shout out. Um, I surrender to him. Uh, so I like, I... let's just start <laughs> surrendering to people that we like. <laughs> Tanner, we surrender to you. So that was more of a complex collab because, like, I stayed at right. the studio and did VFX for it too. So oh, really? Okay, that was more of like a a week collab thing oh that's awesome um, so you just kind of hung out at their studio for yeah a while. just hung out and just mm-hmm. kind of did the the vfx and all that kind of stuff nice that's in awesome. their studio um and but it was fun it, but i don't that was that was more man i don't know how to describe that what did that do for your channel it didn't do much but okay. it was just a cool thing to have on my uh hypothetical reel like oh, it was yeah. it was cool to be able to be involved with that mm-hmm. as far as like I, my channel their channel it didn't really do like a whole lot for i feel like either of us it mm-hmm. was just i think it was the video was for a festival and that was oh, cool to go gotcha. to and all that kind of stuff okay, that's awesome. um but that was more of a collab that's kind of just for fun and mm-hmm. not so much for a particular you know subscriber count or view count all that kind of stuff yeah totally and um, I started this segment by saying collaboration is a great way to grow your audience. And I actually, I said it's the only way, which is not true. Um, the only way, but bro. The other it's thing, the only way. <laughs> bro, but like collaboration is also just really fun. Uh, mm-hmm. Like I, I wasn't trying to come at it from just a like YouTube business perspective. But, but I'm also a very non-collaborative YouTuber. Mm-hmm. Like I rarely collab. Right. Like that part, part of that comes from, I, I'm from Arkansas. Mm-hmm. So like no one here really does this. Right. Um, but I basically, I, if I collab it's, it's once maybe a year. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't collaborate that often either, but, um, yeah. but there's definitely, uh, something to be said for the more like, Hey, let's both get together and like create mm-hmm. a video together as opposed to just, Oh, you know, send me a clip it, while like, like the Johnny Boz Awards. in Chicago. <laughs> like when you were in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Like the Johnny Boz Awards are easy. They're cool, yeah. whatever. But like when we made, I found new Kazuka, that was like a whole day of just like hanging out, having fun and like filming a silly video. So mm-hmm. that is also just like the more in-depth collaborations are just more satisfying. I think. Yeah, it's more, I mean, also building relationships too. Just like that, that's, that's another important thing. Oh, totally. Uh, Doing them like together is just like, you know, it's more of just like a, it's more than a virtual online relationship at that point. You're kind of building a a friendship and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And and I was very Um, careful to pretend to be friends with you so that I could in turn. Oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Corridor. Uh, but, uh, uh, 
Oh. Sure. Dude, yeah. That we totally for totally friends. Right. Yeah, yeah. For sure. No, I was just saying like I my strategy. I, I'm it just, almost I'm seems just, like I'm just trying to show you. Th- this like is weird. a YouTube podcast from two different perspectives. I'm trying to show you my perspective. Yeah, we're definitely different for sure. I I, um, I was trying to befriend you so that I could milk all the subscribers <laughs> I could get out of you. Yeah, you can milk me. Yeah, yeah. I, that's 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 um, I I love when people milk milk me. Um, that's awesome, dude. Uh, I'm glad. Did did I give you enough milk? Did you enjoy your milk, Johnny? Yeah. I got some more. Uh, I'm good. Also, You're good, Andrew. I have something that's gonna blow your mind. All right, bro. This podcast right now. We're collaborating right now. You may not know this, but we're collaborating right now. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. And I got to say, the I found new Kazuka video, that is the third highest viewed video on my channel. Really? Yeah, I'm really proud of that. It's, it's actually at 15,000 views, which is pretty darn good for a channel so with 2,000 subscribers. So you're almost saying that I'm a golden nugget that milks for you. You're a golden nugget that milks for me, and I hope to be milking you till the day that I... Pass away. I got plenty, bro. Don't worry. Um, so, right, are you um, gonna give me some subscribers, or are you gonna give me some views? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how to make this fair. Yeah, uh, no, I'll money. just, uh, I'll have my people talk to your people, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, I will let you know for when sure. I'm available for a collab. Yeah, 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 for sure. I will let you know when I'm available. For, for a sure, dude. Yeah. Uh, for <clears throat> cool. Uh, yeah, just making sure we. Uh, Right, right. You don't want to, you want to be fair. Yeah. So I've actually done some other collabs um, outside of the you know Johnny Boz Awards and all of the stuff we've done. Mm-hmm. Um, I made a video called the Johnny Boz School of Jokes. Oh yeah, um, aren't they? Aren't we sponsored by them? Oh yeah, this <laughs> yeah we are sponsored uh, by the the Johnny Boz School of Jokes. Um, if you want to be <laughs> funny today, go to bit.ly forward slash joke school shirt. And buy a T-shirt from me. Um, Should I expect like a check or something from them? Or I just I just never really asked. Oh, uh, so the way the you know the the joke school right the Johnny Bosco school of jokes. Yeah, yeah. They it's like a it's like an exposure sort of thing. Right. Okay. So yeah, go to bit.ly forward slash uh, bit.ly forward slash joke school shirt. Give me some money. Uh, it, the shirt costs fifteen dollars, uh, and then five dollars for shipping, so it's twenty dollars. Um, and then I get ten dollars of that money. So. Oh, so you get money? Yeah, uh, Andrew gets zero from that. Cool. All right. So well, yeah, um, I, on, bro. yeah, so I let's got do it. so I got um I got Ren and some of the other guys from Corridor to like send over little testimonial clips for the Johnny Boss School jokes. That was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think it was 2014. I made a video called Landlord Documentary. I'm not even gonna get into the story behind that video because it's just mm-hmm. a it's like a it's like a Johnny Boss lore can of worms. But um, so oh. I, I I made like a a, a faux I made a like a, a mockumentary. And I wanted to cut to Ren, like saying he had no idea who I was. <laughs> if you huh? want, if you want to understand why, go to just go search, you know, landlord documentary Johnny Boz. Uh, Lord, can we all just watch it together? <laughs> yeah, we could do a live watch. So it's it's land <laughs> it's it's landlord, but like the singer lord. So L A N D L O R D E documentary Johnny Boz, and you'll find it. So <laughs> I wanted him to act like he had no idea who I was. So then. Um, he's like, oh, Johnny Bosworth? Never heard of him. Johnny Bosworth? No, never heard of him. And then he goes, you guys heard of Johnny? And then it pans over. And then Sam and Nico are there, and they also say they've never heard of me. You guys heard of Johnny? Johnny Bosworth? I heard of Owens Bosworth once, but I think he died in a car fire. No but, idea who that is. No, sir. Um, <laughs> which was cool because I didn't know um, Sam and Nico were going to be in that video. Ren was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can film that for you. And then he, like, you know, got them to be in that, which was, like, really nice. Wow. So I didn't – I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, hmm. so besides Ren's acceptance speech, that was, like, my first Corridor collab, essentially. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that was, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Um, wow. 
Yeah. So those are some render. other some other. I just called him Render, but Ren. Ren. He, he uh, <laughs> Ren, dude. He goes above beyond. He yeah no he really does. Um, he is he is a great guy to work with for sure. Um, I surrender. Uh, all right, so uh, I have a question. Sure. Because sure. I think you're the guy to ask. Right. Because I was also in Corridor Digital's Snapchat series, Snapper Hero. Um, I played the Dude, role. I did the of... effects for that. Wait, really? <gasps> Whoa, yeah. Andrew, that was our first collab, and we didn't even know it. <laughs> Dude. Wow. All Dude, right. Dude. Yeah. So I was at. I was. Um. I was the role of Troll Kid, and so <laughs> I sent video clips, and like Sam, like gave me direction over email. Oh, so yeah, like man. I sent I sent video clips for Snapper Hero. I was in three different episodes, um, and then I guess my acting wasn't good enough, so they, <laughs> so they took still <laughs> frames and then like wrote Snapchat text over it. Oh, but yeah, I was series. I was in there. Um, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, uh, good times, man. I didn't right, even so, know that. Yeah, this this question is for you um, mm-hmm. because I feel like uh, you would know. Um, sure. So how 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 if I wanted to collab with say Johnny Boz, right? Um, how do I reach out to collab with him? Mm-hmm. I think he's pretty busy. Yeah, but you know, question still stands. How how do I reach out? Like, wh- all right, where, how do I you know, Twitter? What? All right, if you really want to reach out to someone and collab with them, um, you have to hire someone called a private investigator. And so what they will do is they w- they're basically it's basically like a legal stalker. They will mm. find that person, watch them with binoculars, like day and night. And and, and what you yeah. do is you get them to go into into that person's house, leave a note saying like, "Hey, um, cool bro, seventy five on YouTube wants to collab with you. Do it or else." So yeah, mm-hmm. or else that's, uh, that's is that all like you gotta an extra do. Price or oh, um, well, you have to go to um, privateinvestigator dot com slash don't tell the FBI about this business. Oh. And they'll, they'll talk to uh, if you call him. Talk yeah. to Tony. Oh, Tony, he'll right. he'll he'll hook you up. Mention my name. All right. So like, if you didn't want to go that route, which is right, if you don't have like thirty thousand dollars, yeah, a day, if you don't yeah. have that on hand, uh, what what's maybe like a, the next best thing? <laughs> well, at that point, it's a lost cause, but I guess I could humor you, yeah, because um, this is a comedy yeah. podcast. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny, honestly. Right? That was pretty funny. Right, that cool. was actually really funny. Thanks, man, dude. <laughs> All right, thanks, man, dude, bro. Um, so, if you really want to collab with someone, the way I've done it is mm-hmm. Twitter. Honestly, has mm-hmm. been the best way. Um, and it's not just. I, although this has worked, it's not just. Oh, uh, hey, do you, hey at whoever, uh, mm. like I don't know, like Nukezug or something. Hey, do you want to be in mm. my video? Um, what I what I did was. Uh, when I was like 11 or 12 and I was like, man, these YouTubers are so cool. And then I was like, they have Twitters. I can just talk to them directly. Mm-hmm. So I just tweeted everybody way too much. I wouldn't well, advise I mean, that. But <laughs> but basically. You could tweet somebody. If you tweet somebody, they're not going to cut you out for life, dude. Right. Like yeah. You won't be cut it, off for life or anything. Yeah. That that like, would be like, kind of crazy. <laughs> just, you just, I mean, you might as well, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, as long as you're not mean or don't. Ask them questions you could easily Google, all that kind of stuff. Right, 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 right. Just, yeah, you don't just want, ask them. You don't want someone yeah. cut off. You don't want them to cut you off for life. So, so just be careful. Just be be <laughs> but. careful. But yeah, no. Um, I, I think one of the 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 things that's helped me out the most in collaborating mm-hmm. is like just um yeah reaching out to creators on Twitter and mm-hmm. and just saying hey or saying hey man loved your video or like asking them a question that maybe you can't Google. Um, yeah. Because. Oftentimes, like I was able to sort of build relationships with with you know the guys at Corridor or um, yeah. or Tanner Thomason. I, I you know I talked to him a bunch on Twitter. Um, Andrew McMurray from Nukazuka. I, I talked to him a bunch on Twitter too, yeah, yeah. and that's like how yeah. we started basically collabing and with the podcast and stuff. So because if they if they see your tweet and they want to talk to you more, they can like PM you or follow you, and you guys can personal message and all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. As well. So yeah. Um, that can also happen. Mm-hmm. I would say, yeah, I'd say Twitter is probably the best one for some reason. It yeah, is. it's like, it's it's like a, it's so good for just a quick, 
quick yeah. question, quick response. It is just like really convenient for that sort of thing. And mm-hmm. everyone is like, oh, I hate Twitter because um, – I don't know. People get mad at Twitter because of politics and and who's mm-hmm. blocked and who who gets their account suspended and all that. But it's been I mean, for mm-hmm. me, I love mm-hmm. Twitter because it's like basically been one of the biggest things in building relationships and getting to talk yeah. to other creators that I look up to a bunch. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Twitter Twitter is a great resource. And then always check um, always check a YouTuber's like contact email on their ab- mm-hmm. about page. Or like the about tab on their channel, like it can never hurt to just you know send an email. Um, yeah. yeah, that's that's how I'd always contact like uh, websites to like blogs and stuff to oh, post okay. my videos and right. stuff. Yeah, they'd always have the email. Email is the best one for that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know about collabing with creators. I think that might be a little bit more, maybe more personal. Like the best the best approach would be, maybe be a bit more personal, like yeah. on Twitter and, or. And another thing is. Um, don't don't go into it expecting anything. Like, yeah, it's not like, hey man, sure. make a video with me, or like, oh, uh, you're gonna do that. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. Just you know, go into it remembering that <laughs> creators mm-hmm. are people and not just entities that have a subscriber count. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that kind of I mean, goes without saying, but you know, just respect people and, and, and like and like maybe even offer them don't offer them but like give them a taste of what you do as well Mm -hmm. instead of just saying hey let's make a video together right like say hey let's make a video together and put like a link to a video you've made or something give them something that makes them be like oh okay this person does this it's like because i feel like a lot of big creators probably get a lot of messages that are just like hey let's collab but then they're just like i don't have no idea who you are you know like yeah you want to you want to try to make you want to, you 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 want to give them a reason to do it more mm-hmm. than just it would be cool, you know. Like, yeah, it's always good to have something in it for them in a sense. Not that you ever need to pay them or anything like that, but like, yeah, um, like with the Johnny Boz Awards, they're winning an award in air quotes. So like, yeah. oh, who doesn't want an award, you know? And I think that's what, what has helped that for mm-hmm. sure. But yeah, so I'm I trying to figure out why I did this for you. Probably a mistake, dude. I am awful. Yeah, dude. All right. See you, man. (laughs) See you, man. (laughs) All right. Uh, Welcome to Please Subscribe featuring only Johnny Boz. From now on. (laughs) I'm so alone. I'm so alone, and I wouldn't have been able to get through it without comedy. And how did I learn to be funny? Well, the Johnny Boz School of Jokes. Head on over to bit.ly forward slash joke school shirt. Be funny today. And then it's just silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm alone, but I'm... Maybe, least... like, every ten minutes you hear, like, you drinking some water <laughs> or mm-hmm. something just to know that you're still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's it. That's quality, dude. Yeah, but um, to go back to what we were talking about, because our conversations always wander and never have any <laughs> direction, really. Um, just like my final tidbit on you know collaborating with other creators that you might not know, is just like don't hesitate to reach out, and you'll be surprised. You might be surprised by like how willing people are to you know make stuff with you. Yeah, depending on the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, like you said earlier, just go in with no expectations, yeah. but, I mean, you might as well still try. Yeah. No, it can't hurt. Unless yeah. it does. <laughs> Unless it... Uh, <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, hey, Andrew? Hmm? Um, I was just wondering, like, I love your channel. Like, do you, would you want to maybe collab sometime? All right, um, let's take some questions from listeners like you. This first question comes from Jay Schlatt on Twitter. How is it going, Jay Schlatt? What's up, bro? The Jay Schlatt? The Jay Schlatt. Uh, I don't know if you know this. You may not know this, Andrew, but he was on the Please Subscribe podcast featuring Johnny Boz and Nuka Zuka. Whoa. Yeah. That's big. That's big. Wow. Wow. All right, so Massive. what was his question? So his question is, who is the better YouTuber, Johnny or Andrew? Annie. Annie. <laughs> Annie, do Annie? You, <laughs> Annie, do you want to take this one? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Annie. I'm, hey. I'm Johnny's girlfriend. Oh, hey. 
I love Johnny. He's so funny. Wow. So is he better than Andrew? Uh, it's hard to say because you guys are both so cool, but I think I'm a little uh-huh. biased, but I do like Johnny better. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, you can go. I'm real. Okay. No, yo, you can go. <laughs> hey. Is she gone? Hey, man, what's up? Uh, sorry. Hey. Annie just ran out of the room crying. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Everything's fine. Uh, she just she was just being honest, and uh, she answered the question perfectly. Oh, cool. Awesome. That's, that's good yeah. to have a, another she, question. She probably she has anxiety. It's I mean, she just oh. had to probably need to go do some breaths. Or, I don't know, something like that. So. Breaths, right. All right. Um, cool. Um, so, so Annie took that last question. I want you to take this one, if that's okay, Andrew. Sure. Um, Johnny, why did my parents get a divorce? I need answers, and that's from Eck Mason on Twitter. Hey, Mason. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was it was because of you, Mason. Yeah, uh, because it was all because of you. Uh, because you're just just the worst. You're just the worst, Mason. And if I was your parent, I would get a divorce too. You are, <laughs> you are so so horrible. That you caused your parents to split up and divorce. They're not, no, no, they're not just separated. They divorced, no, Mason. Divorced. Like they signed the papers, dude. It's your fault. It's your fault. Think about how much they hated them. Think about how much they hated each other because of you. And then now think of them hating each other so much they will willingly be in the same room together just to sign papers to legally separate them. Yeah. You really messed up, Mason. All right, next uh, so, question. Uh, so Mason has another question. Uh, he, he asked oh. this one on Instagram. Um, what's the most difficult part of the video making process, and how do you get through it? Um, uh, probably the crippling depression that sort of inhibits any productivity, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, because my um, my job mainly requires me staring at a screen. Mm-hmm and editing and stuff and that gives you plenty of time with your brain right. and your brain likes to tell you things johnny mm-hmm. like you know why did my parents divorce like it it, it keeps right. like it gives you thoughts and like, right, that right. is actually the hardest part is yeah uh like, why uh, didn't i pay johnny for that collaboration uh why yeah like uh, um uh yeah. so basically yeah it's it's uh for me it's a lot mentally um <laughs> but let's see there's also most difficult part. I mean, I really uh, think it's just coming up with good ideas for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because That's, as a yeah. as a comedy channel, like my workflow is fairly simple and easy. Mm-hmm. It's it's always just sort of been uh, coming up with good stuff. Yeah, because like that's the part of the video making process that it's all everything about the video resides like on what you're about to. Think <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, and it's so like intangible it's too. You can't just you can't just <laughs> say I'm gonna come up with a good idea and then it happens. Like, yeah. In another uh, in an alternate universe, you thought of an idea better than that one. Yeah. yeah. You thought of that same idea, but it was better. You know what's cool? <laughs> that's that's scary. The, the cool thing is, you okay? You sit down and you start thinking of video ideas, and mm-hmm. if you spent an hour longer thinking of more video ideas, you might have come up with the best video in the entire world, but you didn't. Uh, let's move on. Uh, let's move on. Yep. Video, making videos is hard. Uh, let's make. Let's move on, dude. I'm getting into that uh, place in my brain. Okay. Uh, no. No. Pull. Pull. Please pull, Andrew. So. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, okay. This next question comes from Jessica Arl on Twitter. That's my cousin. Hey, Jesse. Hey. Uh, which comes first, the chicken or the egg? The age-old mm-hmm. question, Andrew. Age-old. So old. Mm-hmm. This question is so old. Yeah. It's like old. like really old dude yeah like you know super old. you know like uh old people how they're pretty old like pretty old that's older than that no yeah so the chicken or the egg which came first i personally i mean like if i'm answering this question honestly i mean i don't know if either really exist i'm not positive that either came first I don't wow. I don't eat eggs and when I eat chicken it is not in its animal state. So who's to say you, eat, you don't eat eggs? 
I hate eggs, dude. I hate, hate, oh. hate eggs. I hate them. Last time I ate eggs, I literally puked. Wow. I mean, I have a problem. There's something wrong with me. But yeah, but I do yeah. not eat eggs. I hate them. So, yeah. Um, and also, Andrew, think about this. Do you eat, do you just grab a live chicken and bite its neck and then just like yeah. eat its breast? Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. No way. Y- you said yeah. Uh, so, no. so, like you don't do that, right? So when I eat chicken, it's just like shredded white meat. I don't know if that's yeah. chicken. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a chicken in real life. All I'm saying, that, I'm not I mean, sure yeah. chicken or egg is even real. Yeah. Um, I think all the chickens that you see on video are a CG because, like, I've, I've, you know, I've looked at it and uh, I've done CG chickens oh. before. <laughs> I've taken jobs uh, where they say, hey, can you put CG chickens into the shot right. Um, right. for, like, an animal documentary? Yeah, big. And I had to do it. Big chicken wants everyone to believe, oh, yeah. chickens are real. Mm-hmm. Um but I don't buy it personally. I think you no. I the think an, you're. I think yeah. the answer is neither, it. Jesse. Neither. The answer is neither. Mm-hmm. This next question comes from Sammy Bosworth on Twitter. That's my sister. Bosworth. That that. Oh yeah. Hey Sammy, what's up? Um, uh, the question is, why are you a big dumb idiot? Ooh. Wow. That's. Um. That's kind of weird. Maybe I I think we're sophisticated enough to realize that chickens don't exist. So I don't feel like that's worth our time, Johnny. Do you think maybe my sister is lashing out because she thinks chickens are real? She probably does. And she's just she scared of kind of scared of the truth. She probably eats the white shreds and she probably says this is chicken. Dude. I'm one of the white <laughs> shred truthers. That's not cool. <laughs> Yeah, no. That's my Let's sister. Just move on that's from a, that, Andrew. Dude. That's a lot uh, to deal with. I, know, I have to I see know. her a lot. My whole family, dude. It's what we have to deal with. Just don't worry. They're you, WST you too. To... <laughs> yeah. White shred. I've had to grow up with it, dude. No. WST, dude. Oh well, it's just a part of life. All right. Sorry, I. We can move on. All right, this next question comes from ShredFreak105 on Twitter. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, I recently broke my leg skiing. I live in Colorado, and the slopes were just too intense. I can't really go very far, uh, hence the broken leg, because I live alone. Do you have any recommendations for a doctor that I could go see? So, uh, all right. Uh, his leg is broken, right? So broke he can't his leg skiing. Yep. move. Can't move. Very much, at least. Do you have so any... So he can't run... Or anything. I don't, um, I don't think you can. Run. I, it seems like it's kind of helpless. Do you um, have any recommendations? I would say uh, go on the dark web and Google Anderson DeRuper and see if you maybe he might have some openings because he seems to. Uh, um, I don't know. I've I just heard of his. Uh, he has some free consultations sometimes. Um, and he's been my doctor for years. So. <laughs> Why? You, what? <laughs> oh, he does. He does free consultations. If you're if you're immobile, I think. Oh. If you can't move, like, gotcha. uh, he'll do like one for free, and then. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, whoever uh, shred freak or whatever. Um, weird that he's asking this on Twitter. Um, Why? He's still in the snow. Uh, I don't oh, know, right. um, but I'd say I say I say give him a, a Skype call and uh, <laughs> see if he'll uh, yeah see if he'll come by. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Wait, so Anderson Daruper? Anderson Daruper, A N D E R. S O N D R O O P E R. Okay, so you, but you can reach him on Skype. What's his Skype? You can name? only reach him on Skype. Uh, um, I think it's at uh, Doctor Droop or something. Um, okay, all right. I think that's it. All right, reach out to uh, Doctor. I'm sorry, Doctor Droop. Yeah, huh? 
<laughs> All right, re- reach out to Anderson Daruper. Um, sure. Yeah. He's very, very experienced with, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's been your doctor for years? Years since I was a very young child. Wow. Yeah. Really, really interesting stuff. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, I mean, it's not a sponsor or anything, I don't think, but definitely, guys, go check out Anderson Daruper if you need a free consultation. Um, <laughs> I mean, it seems like the guy to go to. I, I don't know. It seems pretty like a no-brainer. Yeah, he's really uh, hands-on, so uh, oh, okay, I'd cool. say That's check awesome. him out. That's awesome because they – you you need they so you gotta really get in there you know because you have to f- figure out what's yeah. wrong you know you can't just look yeah, yeah, yeah. check everything um, all right so um, that's all the questions for for this week um, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> all right so Andrew yes uh, I wanna can I paint a mental uh, image just for you just not just not like last time but yeah go ahead. What? Uh, so, okay, you're you're sitting there on the couch, the mm-hmm. the couch. You're eating uh, flaming hot Cheetos, all right. Ooh. And you're listening to the Please Subscribe podcast. Ugh, yeah. And you're loving every single second of it. Oh yeah. Now, what do you do when you love the podcast and you want people to know? Subscribe! You just subscribe. That's what you do. Please! You just hit the subscribe button. Please! Please! Subscribe, You please, like what guys. you heard? Guys, please! We just spent an hour of our lives! And I we spent could use like, a subscribe! I spent like an extra two hours editing it! Please! Extra two hours! It's a button! We only make a podcast like once a month! We beg you every episode. What, what is it going to take? Ah! <laughs> um, so, uh, in addition to subscribing, how can they show other people that uh, that this podcast should be checked out? Um, well, they could... Uh, what? Yeah, what? iTunes review. Wait, what? iTunes review. I do. Oh, they can uh, they can leave an iTunes review, dude. If oh, they go to the really? iTunes That's page awesome. for this Please Subscribe podcast uh-huh. and they use their account, they can just just hit that hit that star button and then like type a review, say, "Hey, these guys are really inappropriate." Mm-hmm. Something about Anderson DeRuper, whatever they want, they can type it in there. Any post star it. rating works. Any star rating, one, five, however, however they feel. However they feel. Yeah, dude, we're not forcing anything. All right. Please subscribe. Please. We're not forcing anything though. Just you know, we're just we're just begging it. profusely. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So um, yeah, um, go ahead and leave us a review on iTunes. It'll really help us out. We'll shout you out on the next episode if you do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and I believe you can also, if you want to find the iTunes page to leave a review, um, you can go to bit.ly forward slash please subscribe podcast if you're not already listening on iTunes. Wow. And if it's on YouTube, it'll be in the description. So many options, bro. Wow, so many options. No excuses. No excuses, cool. and we'll know if you don't leave a review. Yeah, we will. Man, another episode in the digital can, Andrew. Wow. Feels good. Feels really good, man. Um, I'm, I'm so pumped. So pumped, bro. So pumped, bro. Bro, this was a good episode. Yeah, it was a good episode. Thank you guys so much for listening. And uh, thanks, guys. Well, I I, I guess right now, uh, the the music, I I love you. The the music is going to just sort of fade out. Fade!